So I'm going to break insert up into two videos. This is a fairly complex method. So in this one, we're just going to walk through the steps that you would need to do to insert an item. And then in the next video, we'll actually write the code. So I'm going to bring a tree up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert a node with the value of 27 and that open spot to the right of the 21 there. And I'm going to try to replicate the process of walking through the logic that you would have to do to be able to code this. So normally you would sit down with a piece of paper and you would write out all the steps to kind of get an idea of what you need to do to code this and then you start coding. And that's what we're going to do here. So the first thing we did here is we created a node. So I'm going to add that on the upper left hand corner here. I'm just going to say create new node. And so we have more room for these nodes. I'm just going to move everything over to the right like this. And the next thing we're going to have to do is take that 27 and compare it to this item here. And when we compare it, if it's less than, we're going to go to the left. If it's greater than, we're going to go to the right. So we'll add that to our notes. And I'll just say if it's less than, we're going to go left, else it's greater than, and we're going to go right. Now, once we've made the decision, in this case, to go left, because it is less than, there are a couple of possibilities. Either we can insert this because that spot is open, or that spot isn't open because there's already a node there. In which case, we need to compare the new node to this node. So I'll make another note here. We'll say if this is null, we're going to insert the new node there, else we have to move to the next node. Now we're going to compare the new node to this node. We're going to say if it is less than, we go left, else it's greater than, we go right. In this case, it is to the right. Then we're going to say if it's Null, insert the new node, which is what we have going on here, and we insert this. So the thing that should jump out at you here is that these two if statements were used at the very top, and then when we move to the next node, that's an indication that these must be inside of a loop. And we don't know how many times we're going to loop through this, so it makes sense for this to be a while loop. So the other thing that you might notice is that we had an arrow pointing to this node here that started up here, and we're going to need to have a variable attached to that pointer. And we'll just call this temp, since that's what we've been using in all of the other data structures. And then as you move through the tree, temp is just going to point to the next item that we're comparing the new node to. So I'll bring this back up to the top. And when we initialize this, we're going to have to set it equal to root. And that's going to have to happen before the while loop. So we'll put that in right there. Say let temp equal this dot root. One of our other possibilities is that 27 node, instead of being plugged into a tree that already has nodes in it, we could have a situation like this where the root is equal to null. In other words, an empty tree. In this situation, we just set root equal to the new node. And this is something that we would do before we would declare a variable or do that while loop. So that even goes above the variable, like this. And we do have one other edge case. So I'm going to bring this down here, and I'm going to replace this 27 node with a 76. And you'll see why here in a second. I'm going to bring back the tree like this. If you have a 76, we're going to start at the 47, and we're going to go right. And now, well, now we have a node that is equal to a node that's already in the tree. And you can see that everything that we've done so far has either been greater than or less than. We cannot have a value that is equal to a value that is already in the tree. Now, there is a way to get around this. If you're in an interview and they say, hey, what if we do want to have duplicates in there? How might you do that? So I'm just going to take a little tangent here and talk about that. I'm going to focus in on this node. And remember, the node is like this. 
So what you can do is add something like count. And the count is one when you insert the first one. And if you insert another one, you could say the count for the number of 76 nodes that you have is set to two. We're not gonna do that here. So I'm gonna take this back out. And because we don't have something like that, we cannot have a duplicate. So let's put this back in to our tree like that. And you're having to compare the new node to each node that you're looking at to see if it's equal. So this is going to have to go inside the while loop like this. We're gonna say if the new node is equal to temp, return undefined. All right, that is all the steps that we're gonna to have to do to code this out. So in the next video, we're going to pick up right here and then we're gonna code insert.